Alright, first and foremost, giving our praises and our glory to the Most High, Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Kakodash. The but honestly, the apostles and the elders that do rule by that great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. So shalom to the humble and sincere sister out there as well. The Brother Kalam, the Brother Kwa, coming to push the true doctrine, true words of the Most High Yahweh in the name of his son Yahushai. And the name of this video will be entitled Riches are Vain. You know, because a lot of men, you know, would follow the truth. Or even in the world, you know, and they would believe that riches and money would, would somehow exalt them. You understand? But as the scriptures say, you know, the things of this earth are temporal. The things that we see are temporal. Right? And your money, no amount, no amount of money could buy you salvation or could buy you your spot in the kingdom of heaven you understand your money could only reach us could reach Esau kingdom you understand that is as far as your money could reach and we know is the Lord does make rich you understand is exalt and does bring down men you know he could make you rich and he could make you poor so ultimately it is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that does govern all things it always goes back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because you might think that uh, you live in the truth or you know for for better days you understand how to, to, to receive wealth not realizing that you walk not on the man that does bestow wealth upon men and the wealth that you walk out to receive can be compared to the wealth that you will receive so long as you endure until the end you may forget the book of proverbs 11 verse 4 verse Proverbs chapter 11 verse 4 He say riches He say riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness deliver it from death Right so the only thing that will deliver you from death is what? Righteousness Right? To, to, to do the right things you understand? To please the most right? to, to seek after wisdom knowledge and understanding to seek to be diligent, to be obedient, to be faithful, faithful unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That is what will deliver you from death. Because when the scriptures say Yahweh Shai come and render every man according to their works, the righteous man would acquire mercy, but the wicked ones, their man would receive death. They say riches profit not in the day of wrath. In these, uh, in famine, your riches can't can, can profit you. Go you go tell yourself you can take your money and go in the grocery to make groceries. It have it will have nothing in the groceries. There are nothing in the market. You understand? All these supermarkets wouldn't have nothing there. You understand? So what your money can do for you in those times? You can take your you can have to eat. You might have to eat the money that you was that you was planning to spend. You understand? You wouldn't be able to buy anything. You wouldn't be able to use your riches in famine. You understand? When all this, all this um, war begins, civil unrest. You understand? It wars among men. Men raiding your house and coming to, to rape your wife and, and kill your children and you and thing. Your money is going to deliver you out of those times. But say righteousness delivered from death. And the righteous will be preserved. The servants will eat, the servants will drink, they shall sing for joy. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability at high times. You understand? So, to be on the right side, to be on the straight and narrow path is the only thing that will deliver from death. Okay. Yeah. Them, you know, had a had a riches, had a had a that little wealth. And thinking that, you know, hey, the money because money is a defense, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't be a defense in these times, in yeah. these evil times. It's not gonna be a defense. What's going to be a defense is your Basham Yoshai. That is the true riches. Right? The wisdom of your Basham Yoshai. That's going to be a defense. Mm -hmm. Right? Having feet in your Basham Yoshai, not your money. It's not going to profit you anything. Right? So, as the brother say, in, in, in time of famine, we, we win and buy. When the, <laughs> when the, it had nothing. It had nothing to buy. We win and buy. It got a quick piece of me in uh, second Israel 622. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 22 And suddenly 
shall the soon places appear on soon, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Yeah, you're gonna be found empty. Hmm. You know? So we going and we going and we going and purchase. Eh? Hmm. We going and purchase to eat. We go eat your money you and uh, uh, curry stew your, or your hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna do when these evil times come. You know? So the only way the only escape is your bash on your shell. You know, are they gonna fight against one another? Are they gonna fight like this? You know? Just like you know when you you, 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 you throw you know a piece of meat at some dog and you throw a piece of meat, they all of them rushing it and wanna kill each other for that mm. piece of meat because they don't wanna eat. <laughs> that is how all they gonna be. Mm. Are they gonna be like like beasts? Are they gonna fight one another, invade one another? This is uh, this little thing where your bash on your side say gonna come. Right, and the Lord was not gonna return on thing void. Fine. It going and happen. Thus said your bash on your side. Right, we're well, gonna invade one another. Fine. Because a lack of bread and great tribulation. They were coming, they were at the doors. Are you wicked Israelites? Yeah, the scriptures say to those that are. Um, I'm gonna get something quoted around. Second Ezra 16 verse 22 it says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So, some of you here, you might survive the famine. You know, you, you step over your neighbor, you know, you, you slaughter down your family to, to take the resources, and so you're going, you know, you survive the famine. But it say, even though you escape the hunger, you will fall by the sword. You understand? You'll get gone down, you'll get chopped up, you, you know, you, and you're dead by them, them missiles and them, by the lasers from the chariots. So it have, really have no escape other than Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that the Lord, the Lord wouldn't kill all of them. Remember, he was all dead in various ways, you understand? He wouldn't kill everybody in famine. Some of them will live, you understand? And when they live, that where the sword will come for you. Yeah, so they ain't gonna escape our quick precept mm. where Amos 5 to 19, you know. So he's saying anyway, some might escape yeah, yeah, the famine, yeah, yeah. you know, but they. Mm. Oh, yeah, Amos 5 verse 19, it say, I'll start at verse 18, it say, Want you that desire the day of the Lord? To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Yeah, so he himself <laughs> escaped the famine and think, well, yeah, well, I get away. You ain't get away. Right? You ain't get away. Right? Can. It has something else waiting for you. <laughs> and that's how the, the Lord does deal too, because he, he's worth it all, it, you know, that's all, glee. You understand? You know, they feel all on top. You know, so some had, some had, like how he saw his evil wait for him to be on top and you know, hit him the blow. You understand? Like all, all the people who get it. When you think I uh, survive, uh, out of the, uh, out of the, the danger zone, yeah. you understand? Sudden destruction. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. how you come. Because you think uh, you survive the farming, mm-hmm. you know, thing. Yeah, you get through back, you know, the MOTB thing, you know, plug, my plug back into the system, you understand? And, and, and life will go back as it going. Like when you have a try, you know, like when the Lord come in, you understand? And the, the plug back in there can work. So they have no escape. No. You understand? No, there's nothing that you could do to tell yourself, well, uh, I will find a way to survive. Uh, and himself, you either might himself you survive the famine and you survive the destruction by World War Three, and you're somewhere in your bunker in the cliffs of the rocks you see all them big stone and them moving off the off, off the cave and them so you understand yeah and it's men of the lord 
Men blew in watching you now, boy. You understand? Yeah. No escape. You understand? No escape. No escape. Now you'll be playing chains. So where where is the escape to? Can yeah. yeah, hide, boy? Yeah, they flee from the <laughs> lion. You know, the farming. You know, <laughs> At the end of them, they escape, you know. But they lean on the wall and I still point at them. <laughs> right? It have no escape for you people, you know. So they might escape, or they escape the first one, the five, you know, they escape, you know, the, the, the missiles. But not the leg, or they're not going to escape the leg. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my 16 was 16 and away, mm. we're gonna, we gonna hunt them. Okay. Yeah. And if I ask them, you either might, you know, when it does settle, and you hear no more explosion, you might jump out, you might run out the bunker smiling, yeah. and gallivanting. Yeah. And then when you look up, there's these men, men coming down, you understand? Know, yeah. Chariots landing. You know, because you know, they say, you know, when, when these bombs, when these bombs hit, you know, the radiation it had to be some of them it lasts for years. Yeah. You know, so a lot of them store enough food for five years, for ten years. Mm-hmm. They can see they can live on any day for you know, a five yeah. years, they have food for five years. It think we not be so long is so <laughs> <laughs> we we gonna be five five years again, then we come in together. No brother, you're coming to get take. Can you know so and and you know the, the Lord will set it up that way. Because you will have some of them that will survive. Because they are the build back the kingdom. Mm-hmm. So they go think, they will get more puffed up. I survived farming. I survived the soul. I survived all that nuclear destruction, boy. We is Esau, boy. You understand? Yeah. You understand? We, 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 we overcome, we fade, boy. We overcome the odds thing. Mm-hmm. They try to snuff you, but somehow we live by Esau thing, pride. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. They will get puffed up. And die when you go see the men of the Lord, then, the son, yeah. landing now, boy, on the chariots, yeah. walk out and, and grab you. Yeah. No escape from there, though. It had not, ha nothing to say escape from, the son. Because yeah. them chains is not all your chains, you know. Yeah, busting through them chains yeah. and yeah. feel yeah. it. Yeah, pick no lock, yeah. and I <laughs> lock pick, I feel like a thing and pick the lock and next time, get rid of it. them kind of chains, you know. Yeah, but, brother. The part chain on a hill, my ear is beating up. You ain't got to worry about you running away. You might run away, you might run too far from the spot and I'll get put to death or some kind of thing, you son. Mm-hmm. Oh, your body will explode, shoot some energy in your system, you know, son, if you run too far from the spot, from your working area, you know, son. Mm-hmm. And then he saw too, your scripture say, you know, double onto her. Yeah. So what we get? Die, die nothing. <laughs> Son? Yeah. And that was dread. Transatlantic slave trade and what they do to the natives. The good on history has the worst slaveries to take place on the face of the earth. And all again double that. The boys double that. You can't even fathom that kind of pain. You know? Son? Double slavery. Yeah. Hmm. And a thousand years too. You know? Son? Yeah. A thousand. Hmm. Yeah, the book of, um, one of topic first Timothy six verse ten. Now I show you the spirit, you know, the spirit just flow here, it will flow there. First Timothy chapter six verse ten. You say for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah, my son, you say money is the root of all evil. No, money is a defense. Money itself, because you know, niggas just think that. Anytime you're talking anything with money, they say, boy, money is the root of all evil, boy. As if having money is a sin. You know, son? They're not the sinning. It's what the money will make you do. And we know, you understand, the things you people will do for money, you understand? All the you know, Illuminati and all the sacrifices and what these people will do for fame. All the sodomite acts, this the blood sacrifice and killing their own family, sacrificing their own family and things. 
for a piece of film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it jigs, jig, jigs in Hollywood, you know, again, pop, he's all popping them. Okay. You know, for, for, for that money, for money, mm-hmm. for fame. You know? See, they have aired from the faith, you understand? In, you know, you was in the faith, and you fall out seeking after money, we say, and pairs themselves through with many sorrows. So you thought the battlefield was clear, you understand? So you let down your guard, you throw away your shield, because the, 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 the truth, mm-hmm. that your shield, you understand? And your armor, you take off your armor, you throw away your shield thing. The battleground safe. And when you walk out these arrows, you understand? Mm-hmm. Lick you up. So why? You, you throw away, you throw away your bashim, you shy away, your only armor, your only protection in, in this, in this, this valley, boy, you understand? Know, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. This in darkness. This, in, in, in this walk. You understand? Know, yeah. yeah. Chew away, chew away, yeah. only thing in. Yeah. And then pierce yourself, boy, you yeah, understand? Mm-hmm. Arrows will hit you. Mm-hmm. And the arrows, the truth is, his arrows are sharp and it shall not miss, though, feel it. You know, it ain't gonna hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It ain't gonna miss. Mm-hmm. Perfect target. You know, the Lord has set all up so you might. You go, you, you might get joy for a time, man. Could I tell make it sweet, you yeah, understand? The destruction mm-hmm. go be sweeter. Like that, if he was to fall out one time and his death, you know, if he was to fall out, and you know, yeah, you get your money, you get your fame, and you know, you're on, you put you on top, mm-hmm. make you feel like, yeah, but this was the right decision. You know? So, follow the truth thing, the men, they know what they're talking about, but thing. And it's then he go hit it, and it will be too late. You understand? Because you go try to run back for the oil, you know? You go try to run back for the oil, but you go say, well, go on to them that sell. <laughs> they said do have for, for, for us, you understand? Yeah. Go go back onto them that sell, go back onto them where you was finding riches, where you was finding pleasure and joy, go back to them. You understand? Yes sir, yeah what the oil? Hmm. This hmm. oil it wasn't benefiting you. Know? Hmm. So go back go back onto them where you buy it from. Where you was trying to buy it from. You know? Yeah, you can say, let everyone cry unto the gods with the serve. <laughs> let them come and deliver all your outer tribulation. Mm. You know, what are you calling me now for? Because they will remember. Mm. And your family, your friends, everybody that count your life madness in those days. When them really sit down, the Mosai go bring it back here. And they go say, wait, hey, boy, look, he was talking about this farming thing. Farming, eh? You understand? Yeah. Like we say, no, yeah, we are nothing to eat. He not here, you understand? He gone. The Lord lead here away. Right now, he may be somewhere in, par- in a little paradise eating and, you know, yeah. getting taken care of. And here we are suffering, boy. If I did only listen to them, man, eh? if I did only stay strong and listen to them, man, they will be too late. You understand? When you look up now, you seen, you seen missiles. You remember <laughs> when you was laughing at a man <laughs> for telling you? Yeah. Eh? The thermal, thermal nuclear destruction, that is the fire, that is the Lord coming with. You remember that? And the Lord will make you remember him. You understand? When you thought uh, your money was going to keep you going forever, and your money is your pride, your strength, your everything. Where, where your money going to be in that, in that day? Because that is the pride that you saw, because he say, you know, he, he think he houses will mm-hmm. be forever. <laughs> You know, but it's not so. Mm. See, he build and I will chew down. Okay. He's not gonna chew, chew, chew down his kingdom. Yeah. That's why the men will stand with boldness in that day, mm-hmm. because they will see it was it was true, and we already believe that it's true, but they will see it come to pass. Because I will we want to see it come to pass, <laughs> and all you people that was doubting it. You don't need then it will be made on you will, you will, you will see it for yourself boy. and you will, when you're suffering you just remember it son when you're too late now boy, you go you go remember the you son know, too late shall be the cry <laughs> you know, old saying you know mm-hmm. they always say you know, too late shall be the cry i shall do that before boy, <laughs> way, boy thing you know get the book mark chapter 10 
to mark chapter 10 verse 25 say it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of of god right so why is that is it a brethren in the truth that have riches is not saying that being rich itself but the, where you will be denied from the kingdom of heaven but what these people us do with the riches they just think of the riches like the god that is the only thing that could deliver them for example the poor man if the poor man fall ill you understand our brother and he should fall ill you wouldn't trust in your money you will call upon your Abba Hashem Yahushai and you would watch with the scriptures you know with the Lord tell about the herbs so you would pray and, and eat and eat herbs and and hope that the Lord show you mercy and heal you but the rich man wouldn't do that he would take out he jump out with his money and go to these physicians and go to you know private doctor and hospital and thing and find try to find help day and that would the Lord show you because when the man had asked him what he had to do to inherit eternal life and he said he tell him sell all that thou hast he said the man he was of a sorrowful countenance yeah, he didn't give up that <laughs> you understand he didn't want to give up his riches for, for, for the kingdom of heaven he choose he choose temporal things rather than a, 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 a eternal riches and then when I watch verse 27, it say, no, verse 26, it say, and they were astonished out of measure, saying among themselves, who then can be saved? And the Haushai, looking upon them, said, with men it is impossible, but not with Yahweh, for with Yahweh all things are possible. So in the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, salvation could be given unto wicked niggers like us, you understand? In the most high it possible to find to show these men mercy. You understand? To receive salvation and, and deliverance from that destruction. In the most high it possible. But not in money, not, not in riches. Because think about it logically. How the money can say? You understand? In farming. You can't buy nothing. You son. So you can't buy nothing. So you can't eat then. Right? You can't eat, you, you gotta drink, you gotta drink dirty water. You understand? You don't like water. <laughs> right? You don't you're not have water. So you gotta drink dirty water if rain fall. And you, you, you gotta teeth to eat and take. In the day of destruction, how the money going and save you from the missiles? And as you said, even after that, you say you pay so. 20 million to get one of these bunkers and them and you get through to a bunker son how that going and save you from the men of the lord and they're gonna be normal eh? you understand the same age scripture say here and meet we as a man they say we gonna be just like he you understand so when the men come in a incorruptible body and there's, there's, there's gods over all things and they see you you feel you're hiding you understand but the senior, how you going what the money gonna do for you then? Nothing. It's not gonna have any strength, it's not gonna be a defense against those calamities. You understand? You know something? Oh. I'll get the book uh I'll read it quickly, Psalms 37 verse 16. It say a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. So to have all, all the little monies that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked men. You understand? Because the riches that he have is it was blessed. Is a blessing it was given to him by the Mosai to you know sustain him. You understand the game he daily bread but the riches of, of, of wicked men them do them do receive the, the riches from from righteousness now then was acquire the riches by means of our selling out by by sodomy 
by by dealing committing adultery you understand because sometimes you might have a woman is the manager a woman you know is the boss and she have a man but she letting you know if you're the position you gotta sleep with me and the man now he know he know he have a husband thing but he wouldn't care you understand he will sleep he will sleep with the woman to get the position and that's how they that's how they does receive riches you understand get riches by you know deceit just talk about that, you know, got riches by deceit. Right, but but those are that receive, you know, that that little because I only really need you know. Yeah, what too much as I think is in other job of proverbs. Yeah, what too much to make yourself feel as if hey I don't need the most I and yeah what too little to think like by I, I just in poverty, you understand? Yeah. That that in, it, enough that daily bread to keep you going day by day that is all that is, that is necessary but Jake Jake has studied the real goal all they want to splurge you understand in this kingdom all they want excess so you could splurge it to these women because you think them is the prize you understand and you're running after this system that have nothing good in it but with the little money you have now that's sustaining you day by day by by the, by the blessings of the most side is enough you understand and, and, and the scriptures say um thou shalt also suck the milk of the gentiles for brass i will bring gold we is going to take everything them have you understand and more can you yeah, should just say you know the day shall come you know we're going to talk mm. You, you take everything, everything them have, suck the milk of the Gentiles. Um, there is um, Amos 9 verse 13. Alright. You see, um, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, hmm. and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed, and the mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. <laughs> yeah. So the days, the days coming when the plowman gonna overtake the the reaper. So all the riches you are running right now is yours. It's already yours, and we could die waiting in the kingdom. There, I know we may talk about the paper money, the gold, the silver. You understand? Know, the precious stones, the precious and stones, all the land and the oil. All that we own. You understand? Know, son? That they was given for a time, you understand? But the world was made for our sakes. That the law zone. That we father, that you that we save you, you understand? Mm. That is ours, you understand? True your bash from your shy. That is ours. Now you fighting them for that when you can't get that and more. Yeah, it go be so amazing, man. You need to beat up. On the riches and them thing. You are mean an immortal body, you understand? You wanna be out in space. You ain't me to breathe, you understand? You want you watching the sun, the sun here, you watching the sun face to face, your skin ain't getting burned. You even know it's a feel like it's stinging out, you know? And melting away. That how great it that how great it can be. You wanna you in the deepest depths, you understand? And, and the pressure can't break your body. Can't break in pieces. You understand? You, 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 you could tap into the spiritual realm, back into the physical realm, normal. You understand? So all the men are always fighting over carnal things, boy. That m- m- women and riches will not be the least of your thoughts in the kingdom of heaven. Boy. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. The fact that, eh, yeah, we shy right eh? You understand? Yeah, we shy and he, he seen the right eh? You could walk to see your uh, Oshai, you understand? That and all is enough. You don't matter, like, oh, you know, we pray hoping to see the Lord and thing. You don't matter hope to see the Lord. You take a show along, along the road, eh? you understand? Your uh, Oshai, you understand? Right in. You tap into the, the Mosai, you know? Your mind, you know? Because you might be a immortal, you'll be like your uh, Oshai. You could dwell with the Mosai, boy. The spirit world, physical world, you understand? That is true power. And because all the men fighting, and the money they're fighting for, 
Yeah. It's not just his real money. Yeah. <laughs> Monopoly money, <laughs> <and> Peter, <laughs> money. That's something I have no value. Hmm. Nothing they're fighting for. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, anything? Yeah, and then we go hmm. and do Come. all kind of injustice and bribery and injustice. <laughs> All these things in the scriptures, you know, the Lord gonna destroy destroy them. You know, preacher from um, Sirach 14 and verse 12. 4 0. Come. Sirach chapter 40, verse 12. All bribery and injustice shall be blotted out, but true dealing shall endure forever. Yeah, true dealing shall endure forever. All bribery, all these things will be blotted out. You know, mm-hmm. that is how you know Jesus deal. You know, bribery. You know, making deals with you know the devil, with the so-called white man. Okay. You know, again, Job fifteen thirty-four. Job fifteen thirty-four. Job fifteen thirty-four. For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. Yeah. Hmm. Fire is going to consume the tabernacles of bribery. You know, so all they continue. <laughs> you know? All wickedness is going to be blotted out. You know? And that fire, that flow and heat, eh? <laughs> it's going to come from these missiles, you know, which is, you know, they die the indignation of the Lord. You know, God gonna pour out his wrath. You know, you know as in um in the movie Three Hundred Spartans with the pur- with the Persians, you know our arrows will blot out the sun. <laughs> the among the arrows <laughs> gonna be shot from one end of the earth to the other. <laughs> hmm. Gloominess and darkness. Okay. You know? Yeah, with that, the system was edifying, giving all praises and all glory unto the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Akapadash, the Lord, honestly, the apostles and the elders that do rule well at Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the Akim, more their pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth, say shalom to the humble and sincere sister out there as well, Barakalam, Barakwara, say shalom. shalom.